Well, I have been playing video games for quite some time now. Majorly shooters and racing games, and I recently started streaming on YouTube and Twitch, not for profit but just for fun. As a wise guy once told me, if you're playing just upload it. If nobody watches, it's all right. But if someone does, at least you're giving them some good time pass content which is better than those stupid political debates anyway. I recently published a commentary on Metro Exodus. I wanted to review Battlefield and Doom Eternal. But I thought the amount of media attention these get is unparalleled anyway and if I do the same, either nobody is going to watch it or if most importantly if anyone does, it would be of no value. What I instead want to focus on are the indie games. I'm a sucker for indie games and by which I mean not those janky shooters on Steam but the ones which are often neglected and they do not get the exposure, playability, fan base that they truly deserve. I'm talking about games like What Remains of Edith Finch, This War of Mine, Return of the Obra Din, Papers Please, Hawken, Dusk, Black Mesa, Super Hot, Spelunky, Firewatch, Faster Than Light, Pro Force, Cuphead, A Plague Tale, Don't Starve, Subnautica, Hollow Knight and so many more. Over time, I've realized that all of the major AAA titles give you a larger than life experience and everything is polished, glitch free, smooth, story driven with ex excellent combat, great team matches and some jaw dropping moments. Take the example of Call of Duty, Assassin's Creed, Battlefield, Far Cry, you know what I mean. And But in the end, no matter how excited you are about them, you have a set level of expectations. So either you simply just like the game or hate it. And usually it's the latter because you know all the wow moments, all these larger than life uh, set pieces are basically gimmicks, just distractions. And as you play them more and more, everything feels hollow and empty. I can say that these are fast and furious of games. Coming back to the topic, from indie games or small titles, you don't expect a polished experience. On the contrary, you are ready for a janky surprise at the end of every corner. But as you play, you are curious about what the game has to offer. Dusk and Superhot for example, when you play them it seems that these would be boring, repetitive uh, games with buggy combat, but man. As you invest time in these, you fall in love with everything they offer. You can feel that there is craft involved in every move, dialogue, design, every, and every choice of pixel that you see on the screen. And most of these developers bring out carefully thought and craftily executed ideas. It's a sheer joy to complete these games such as Limbo, Return of Oberadin, Undertale, Firewatch. It's so satisfying. And the whole process of understanding how these games were conceptualized and executed after you finish them just adds to the experience. This is proven in recent years by the success of games like Fall Guys and Hades. Some of these games are dropped at gorgeous, some are fast and ruthless, some are casual, some are mysterious, well most are hilarious. The point I'm trying to make is that every indie game has a character and you interact with that character rather than just pressing a few buttons to finish them off. None of these games, I assure you, are boring or uninspiring. The bottom line is that these developers are creative powerhouses and they bring out something that is truly unique and these games should be experienced by all the gamers out there. Don't take me wrong, I like to play good AAA titles. All I'm trying to do is convince you that once in a while, especially when all of us are stuck indoors, explore some smaller titles as well. Take a break from that big budget overhyped bullshit and play for fun. For some good indie games, you can start with the ones on the list and play other titles of these developers. Trust me, you would not be disappointed.